Hey, what's up? This is Michael Dane. Welcome to Rock Live Minneapolis. Tonight, we are featuring three great bands. We're talking about, of course, Last Place Hero, The Express Band, and Long Haired Delinquents. Now, these bands all have their own style. Last Place Hero is the uh, kind of the semi-hard rock uh, band, but they definitely kick butt. The Express Band, they're into the uh, 80s rock and classic rock and of course the long haired delinquents they are the metal heads and we'll be featuring all three of those bands right here on the show plus we'll be adding in some uh, some special surprises for you watching at home check it out this is the uh, interview segments and the footage of all three bands talking about of course once again last place hero the express band and long haired delinquents this is rock live minneapolis and i'm michael dane check it out This is Michael Dane here at the uh, Barfly, downtown Minneapolis, Rock Lab Minneapolis. We're here with uh, Last Place Hero. Would you guys introduce yourself? I'm Joe Rowan. I'm the lead vocals. Zach Klemek, uh, lead guitar. I am Dan Rowan, his older brother, and I'm the drummer. I'm Nate Hicks. You can call me Nato. I'm the rhythm guitar player for Last Place Hero. Cool. How long have you guys been together? Um... We've had the name Last Place Hero for four years, but with this group here, about two years, I want to say. We kicked our old lead singer out, and I picked up some vocals. So, cool. thought it sounded pretty good. We cool. still love you, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Shout it out. Right on. So, how often do you guys, uh, how often do you guys play? You like? Uh, as much as we can. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, aren't very picky about gigs or re really at all, so. We do also play for charity events as well, and we like to give back to the community, so it's kind of a way, and we also just love playing, so yeah, it's kind of just a way to give back to everyone, and just love playing, and just play about maybe once a week, practice at this place, and we just, yeah, this music's our way to get away from the world, and kind of our, yeah, our, you know, the stress reliever, huh? Exactly, I hear you. <laughs> That was pretty well rehearsed. Uh. So, what are your guys' uh, inf major influences? Who's who you? Just... Um, as a bass player, I have to say Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers, of course. Maybe Getty Lee too. He's pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, I'd say my favorite band's probably the Chili Peppers. Cool. Definitely. So, what do you have in your CD player right now? Do I have in my CD player right now? I have Fire Flight in my CD player right now. If you're talking about home, now in my car I got Red. They're a good band. Great band. Anything you guys want to say? Uh, shout out? Anything? We just like to, yeah. Oh, hi. Always hi to the parents. But um, we like to say hi to our friends because they always help us out and like make everything possible. They donate their vehicles, their space to play, and also they book us gigs all the time too. So, and we also like to say hi to every record label out there and <laughs> please sign us, please. We would really much appreciate it. Like to also say. I guess hi to my girlfriend. She was stuck working tonight, so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's kind of kind of sappy, but I had to say it. Well, if we're going to say hi to people, then I'm going to put a shout out to my uh, now six week old girls, twins, Arm and Alexandra. So, uh, daddy's going to rock out tonight, guys. Would you want them to be uh, rock stars when they grow up? Oh, yeah. Right. Autumn Ray is going to be my uh, guitar player, and uh, Alexandra Lee is going to be my drummer. Our future drummers. And wow. Star family, cool. Anything but country. <laughs> yeah. I will not be yeah. 
So you're not going to see a last place hero country uh, country band? B double E double R U N. No. Sorry, probably. Okay. A song or two, maybe. Yeah. Turn a country song into a, a hard rock song, like Metallica did with uh, some of the songs. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Uh, what else? Anything else? Who would you guys like to open for if you could open up for any band? I would say Blink 182. Because I know they're going to be, um, what is it, uh, who's opening for them now? I think All Time Low. Everyone. All Time Low, but I think hopefully, like, someday we can take their place and open for Blink-182. So, not to mock All Time Low, we do respect you guys, but we'll like to play it to you guys someday, too. So Awesome. So where, where's the groupies at? They will be. Sh they're, they're on their way. Most of everybody is, like, works, you know, yeah. everybody works for a living. Yeah. So everybody they're should show up later. Sleeping. Well, we do have our friends um, helping Rody and also sell merchandise for us. So we who's the uh, who's the hot blonde chick walking around here? Who is that? Blonde chick. I would like to say my girlfriend, but that's not the case. So I have no idea. She, I she's a singer. It's my girlfriend. I think that's she, your girlfriend? She doesn't know it yet. Oh, okay. Good answer. Good answer. Cool. Well, all right. Anything? Uh, last words you guys want to say or um, anything you want to? You could talk to anybody in the industry. What would you want to say to them? I'll give you. I'll start out with you. You can say. Um, just like to say that. Heck, I just ask you to listen to us because we're pretty good. A lot better than some of the stuff on the radio. I don't want to like mock any other bands, but it's. It kind of all sounds the same these days. We're gonna try to change that. So, I don't know. Just take a listen. Give us some feedback, good or bad. We always love to hear it. We love responding to fans' feedback. So. And it's us on MySpace, nobody else. So if you have anything to say to us, we will get back to you ASAP. So. Cool. cool, man. All right. Anything else? We'll look forward to seeing these guys play tonight, and we'll probably talk to them a little bit later. This is Michael Dane with Rock Live Minneapolis. I'm here at the uh, American Legion in Richfield, and I'm here with the Express Band and ACDC. <laughs> yeah. They'll be joining us shortly. Why don't you guys uh, introduce yourselves to, uh, to everybody? All right. I'm Barry. I'm Chuck. I am Bruce. I'm Kim. I'm Craig. How long have you guys uh, been playing together? Uh, actually, the Express Band has been in existence for about 16 years, but wow. this current version of the band has been playing together for what, guys, about six months? Six months. So about yep. six, six months. months? Yeah. Yep. Well, you definitely put on a show. Um, you guys have regular practice sessions that you do, uh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it shows because you're very good. Thank you. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about the band, how you guys got started, how the how the whole concept got started with Express Band? Oh, uh, it was, well, years ago down by the river. <laughs> down by the river. Yeah. Down, down by, by the river. Down by the river. Yeah, actually, it's kind of a joke that uh, this one booking agent said that, you know, he saw us. We just, you know, we threw the band together. Uh, and, uh, you know, for quite a long time, we were doing a lot of classic R&B. And uh, just the last year, we uh, switched it up, turned it over to classic rock, and, and uh, having just usual, having great fun. Well, that's great. You guys obviously have a good time when you're playing. Um, and this is something that you do uh, on your, your spare time. It's just oh, yeah. not we, something that you plan on 
pursuing as a career. No, we, we do this as, you know, if you want to call it part-time fun, it's a passion. Every one of us has played for years, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, you know, so it's something you we, we cannot not do. Right. But, uh, you know, we have the daytime jobs to pay for, the mortgages. And, right, exactly. <laughs> and the music here, right? Yeah. Well, a lot of it's about having fun, and you guys cer is. certainly look yeah. like you have fun when you're on stage, and um, you definitely... Uh, play very well and um, um, the crowd is very uh, into the Express Band and you play the music that people a lot of people like you know we've always said that when it stops being fun we're gonna stop doing it so there you that's go why we're, we're up here because we're having fun exactly so how often do you uh, do you play clubs uh, about once a week or does it just depend on so it depends um, you probably on average about you know a couple weekends out of the month sometimes more sometimes less you know that's great Sometimes, you know, it might be during the week. Again, it just depends on, you know, what we're doing. But sure. it is mostly club work uh, and some of the casino work and, and, you know, a private party here and there. If you were asked to do a, a, a big show, open up for somebody big, would you obviously, would you, sure. would you do that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, what would you like as far as, uh, as far as bands? If you could open up for any. Anybody? Anybody. Who would it be? Wow. Um, yeah. We'll go by my. pretty esoteric. Everybody likes something different, you know. Right. I'm more of the heavy metal guy, you know, a lot uh, of Rush, Def Leppard, you know, Aerosmith, Steve right. Vai, that type of thing. How about the rest of you guys? I don't know. Anybody? Anybody? Country. country. I'm country. So we got a, a metalhead, a country, <laughs> country person. Anybody else? Open up for a country. Boston. Uh, Boston. Boston. Yeah. Ah, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Steely Dan. Hey, there you go. A little variety. There you go. Have you ever, guys, ever, you like heavy metal? I'm uh, heavy metal. Have you ever kind of went off the deep end and played, surprised people by playing something that's not your style? Yeah, well, I've been kind of known to slip something in like that, you know, because I've, I've done country, I've done jazz, I've done disco, but I'll be happy to throw like a little. You know, Joe Satriani oh, into a yeah. disco tune or a exactly. country tune just to see if they're paying attention, you oh, know. exactly. Stuff like that. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, cool. Yep. Anything uh, anybody wants to say, uh, shout out, uh, anything you want to promote or... Shout outs? Any shout outs? Uh, Mom. Mom, Dad, anyone? <laughs> happy to be together. Yeah. yeah. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody have anything to say? No, we're good. We're live. Yep. Live on the air. Yep, we need to get going here. So okay, uh, well, thank you. thank you very much for the interview, and we're gonna watch them play, and All right. we'll check them out tonight right here at the uh, American Legion, Richfield Thanks. Thanks Express Band. All right, All right. thank you. Thank you. All right. It's Michael Dane, Rock Live Minneapolis. We are here in Rockville, Minnesota, and tonight we are going to be checking out the lone haired delinquents. They're going to be playing at Stoney's Bar right here in beautiful downtown Rockville. These guys rock. Check them out. Lone haired delinquents live on Rock Live Minneapolis here in Rockville, Minnesota. How's everybody doing? And this first song is by Juice Priest called You Get Another Thing Coming. Oh. 